Hi, I'm Mercy from Here There Be Monsters. Today we're going to take a look at Stream Raider's new PvP mode called Captain vs. Captain. Captain vs. Captain is much faster paced than the normal campaign mode, so it might fit better in your schedule on some nights. But the main reason you'll probably want to give it a try is to get your hands on some of the new exclusive skins. CVC matches will reward you with bones instead of the gold that you're used to getting for campaign battles. You'll earn bones for winning, win streaks, and for snapping losing streaks. Bones can be used to open bone chest loot boxes which might contain skins, gold, or other rewards. Or you can spend more bones to unlock the skins directly. Timers are the main structural difference between campaign and captain versus captain matches. The maximum amount of setup time for a CVC battle is 7 minutes. One for planning. Let's try and leave their Templar unit for last, which includes placement of the captain unit and general battle strategizing, and up to 6 minutes for troop placement. As a player, you can add units to the battlefield every 2.5 minutes until the 6 minute timer runs out, or until your captain's troop capacity has been met. There are a lot of different strategies for Captain vs. Captain, and there's plenty of room for meta development. But for now, there's two things that we want to talk about. Busters and support unit placement. Busters will often be placed near the front of the formation so they can land their AoE attack on the enemy units while they're still grouped up at the beginning of the battle. You can often counter enemy busters by placing several fast units, such as rogues, near your own front line to meet enemy busters in the middle and trigger their explosions far away from your more vulnerable, tightly packed front line targets. It's tempting to place your supports at the very back, but they will tend to target the friendly unit that is closest to them. So if you want your healers to heal your tanks, and not your archers, they need to be close behind your front line. Let's see what happens. All right, our rogues are going to run in and die. That's kind of unfortunate. Their rogue now is going to run in and die, though. Level 30 rogue. Oh, they had a buster still there. Oh, no, you guys. We need that captain unit to stay alive as long as possible for the splash damage. There we go. <laughs> we ran up to that line of archers and just... Bleh. Please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. We're live on Twitch every night except Fridays, and we're always stream rating, so keep a captain spot open for us. Thank you again for watching, and thank you to these wonderful people for their ongoing support.